How do you create that great impact with the shaft length forward as opposed to getting this early release scoop and duffing your iron shots? Well, today we're going to reveal exactly how and expose a move that could be ruining your golf swing. Now, it might seem strange, but we're going to show you what you work on past impact can actually have a massive effect on your golf swing. Okay, so let's talk about that. Let's show you guys the move that could be killing your golf swing and really making it hard for you to get this nice impact pierce. Let's just, let's just go through this. We're seeing a lot more and more students coming to us trying this move and yeah. see it online and it's it's oh, a killer you gotta be so careful and it's, it's getting quite frustrating now but we're seeing golfers now working really hard at rotating the body holding the lag holding the lag holding the lag look at the club face as well i'm holding the club face off trying to keep the club face pointing toward the target with loads of lag and loads of rotation and this is ruining a lot of people so and we do see this a lot why is this a bad move, what are, those, what are some of the issues that we can see from this? Look, there's two main things that we need to consider here. Number one is it's robbing you of power, and number two, it's actually making you less accurate. So if you think of both of those, it's definitely not worth doing this. Let's go with the power one first of all. If we were to swing down and to hold onto that lag, we're holding onto energy. We're stopping energy getting into the club head. So if we can actually just release the club head and get that energy out to the, to the head and to the ball, we're going to get more distance. The more you hang on to that, the more you're robbing yourself of power. We don't want that. Second thing is accuracy. If you think about the majority of golfers that we see and maybe even yourself watching, will tend to lose the ball out to the right and slice it, have the club face open when we strike the golf ball. If we think about what we're doing here, we're actually conditioning having the club face left open. Look at that face here. The more you try and hold on to the lag, the more that face is gonna be more open. Now, if you lose the golf ball to the right, which the majority of golfers do, this is gonna make it so much harder for you to actually even hit the golf ball anywhere near exactly. And look, when you see a coach doing this, yes, of course, they're squaring the face, but the reality is when golfers are doing this, they're jamming that face wide open and we're having all sorts of problems. So if the face is off, one of the keys to this is just the club face. If we can have a good club face within the swing, if we can get the club face square or even a little closed, it helps us sequence the body in the right way. And a lot of this, a lot of creating this great impact starts with the sequence. Mm -hmm. We create a good downswing sequence. Let's explain that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you three drills that you can do that some of the best golfers in the world do that make it really easy for them to create this impact. Yeah, absolutely. Let's explain the sequence. So let's go, we're gonna call it the kinematic sequence. That's what we call it. So the kinematic sequence, the best way of thinking of this is we're breaking down the body into four key areas. Number one, the lower body, number two, the torso, number three, the arm, and number four, the hand and the club. And the way we like to relate this is almost to a relay race. Think of a relay race, there's four runners. Now they have to go in order, they have to go in a sequence in order to finish the race properly, but also in speed as well and actually hopefully win the race. So the way this looks, I always think of the Jamaican four by 100 meter team, Andy, when I'm doing this, but think of this, get to the top of the backswing. It's from there, it's like, go, off goes the, off goes the gun. The lower body is gonna turn and move towards the target. That's the first runner. They will then pass that energy on and drag almost the torso through, which then gets the third runner, the arm, that's the Johan Blake. And then four is Usain Bolt, where we're just unleashing, unleashing that energy, struggling to speak here, unleashing that energy into the golf ball. If we get that sequence right, like the best players in the world, you'll have no problems with your golf shot. It's such an important part. And one Crucial. of the keys, the, one of the keys to this, and it sounds strange because you go, well, the ball's gone. How does what we do after <laughs> impact influence the ball? Well, what we do past impact really shapes where we are at impact. Think of this, Ben Hogan said that he wishes that he had three right hands in his downswing so he could release as hard as possible. And if he's saying that, then we don't want to be holding on to this. We want to be able to release that energy. Now, if you look at some of the best players in the world, let's look at Tommy Fleetwood. You'll look through it through impact. He has this release, incredible release where the right hand is passed over the left. You know, the, the club face is rotating there. You look at Tiger, exactly the same. You look at VJ Singh, incredible <laughs> release. If you can get this past the golf ball, the release past the golf ball will actually help you get this shaft lean at impact. And it sounds counterintuitive that releasing the angles actually helps you create more shaft lean as long as the face is working as well. So you can see when Pierce is doing this, he is allowing that club face to turn. The toe of the club is up in the air. And notice here, just like we saw Tommy, you can see the glove hand underneath the trail hand. So 
let's go through here some some simple drills because you mentioned it earlier before we put the camera on you said we don't see anybody or very rare that we see golfers in this great through swing position if you can take care of this it's going to change your, your golf swing it, it isn't because it, it really is the biggest thing that we see with golfers if we put down one thing that we see across the majority of golfers it is this bunched up feeling and move through the golf ball where you can see these hands are in close here the left hand's on top but look at the club face pointing to the sky and if we think about it how actual different is that to what we're trying to do with a lag it's quite similar isn't it it's actually quite a, a similar component that we're talking about so the first drill, which is a great drill, is something called downtime. Imagine you've got a watch on your left wrist and then you are gonna rotate through impact and we're gonna get that watch face to point to the ground. Watch face pointing to the ground, the palm is pointing directly up. You can just go left-handed, lead hand only if you want to. Again, when I'm doing this, the watch is down, the palm is up and the face is down. You can see that club face. This has gotta be too handsy, Pierce. You're, fli <laughs> you're flipping oh, the no. club. But this, seriously, this is what we see at the moment within the golf industry, that it's like, it's almost that you're not allowed to use the wrists. You're not allowed to close the club face. That is BS. The best players in the world yeah. are closing this club face through the golf ball. That's what's helping them sequence in a great way. Yeah. So this drill is really good. And you can just do half swings like of this. Of course you can, you? exactly. You can actually hit shots. And look, one thing I will say before I hit this shot. No, let me hit the shot first. And I've just got one thing I'm going to say. So literally from here, down time, pitching it out there and really, really aggressively uh, exaggerating that to try and get the ball to hook a little bit and have a little bit of draw on it. When you do this, hold a finish like Pierce has done there. Hold a finish and just assess what's this club face doing and have I passed the right hand over the left? Yeah. The one thing I was going to say there is that what we're speaking about this motion here and this movement here, that could apply if you hook everything. If you're a big hooker of the golf ball, you've got loads of speed, then it might work. But ultimately, the majority of you watching this, you need to be doing these drills. So that's the first one. We're talking about downtime. The second one is set to point. So this is a... Um, Sean Foley, I think we got this yeah, drill from. Yeah, absolutely. Um, unbelievable golf coach, obviously. Gave you a golf lesson, it which you've done good. really well out of. So this is really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to set the wrist on the way back, and then we're going to point the club at the target. So you can see when I'm finishing now, I've turned my body fully through. I've extended my arms, but the toe of the club is straight up. And again, I've got those fingers underneath, and I'm holding the finish, like Andy said earlier, for feedback. Really good, really simple. And look, look the, the key thing when you do these, hold that finish position, hit just one, hit Andy. shots and just hold it and go, have I got this? There's so much feedback in actually how you practice. If you get the toe of the club passing over the heel, you've got the arms fully extended here, I guarantee you're gonna hit not only more accurate shots, but the speed is gonna go up as well. We love, we love doing one thing in the golf swing that changes the whole golf swing. And this is one of those moves. Okay, let's go. We've got one more drill, Pierce. Just talk us through the last one. So the third drill is laser butt. So what I'm going to do, watch my finish when I hit this shot. So you can see when I finish the shot now, I'm going to hold it again. Great for feedback. But the butt of the club is pretty much pointing at my target. So if a laser beam was coming out of my arc our sensor there, it would be going towards the target. None of, none of this, much more of this. And that again is allowing us to release the club but also extend the arms so much better for a full release. Now just turn to face this camera here. Just do that one. And look at this when Pierce does this. You'll see these elbows are nice and closely together. None of this chicken winging. This is what's great about this. It gets the arms releasing, closing the face. Such a good drill this is. I think we saw Martin Hall do this a while ago. That's right, yeah. And it was just such a great drill to actually get the club working better. Rory McIlroy, best driver possibly ever. If you slow his golf swing down, when he gets to this point with his driver, you'll see that his club is there. He's in that laser butt, but then obviously he's super stretchy and bendy so he can keep turning from there. Okay, let's do laser butt again. So again, really important that we hold that finish. We can see laser coming out towards the target there. But again, hold the finish for feedback. Make sure that you're not there thinking you were laser butting. Make sure you hold it so you can see. Three great drills that will completely transform your golf swing and really help you get that compression that you need. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, then you're gonna love this video here. And don't forget to check out meandmygolf.com or download the Me and My Golf app for all our best exclusive content. Thanks again and we'll see you soon.